I'm doing a haul from Paris and I just got back from a five day vacation and I had the best time of my life. I got a chance to really explore the city and um, I went to a lot of different places. So I did take a lot, a lot of pictures. I think I took like over 600 pictures so I have to like narrow it down because I am going to do a two part blog post on dulcecandy.com so check, keep a look out for that tomorrow. But today I just posted the pictures uh, photo diary from my trip to Las Vegas. I went for Project Magic. And while I was there, I actually got a chance to see um, one of the shows from Anthony Cools. And he hypnotizes people. He's a comedian. He's just hilarious. And he makes people like do some really crazy stuff. So if you're ever in Vegas, I highly recommend to go see that show. The tickets were not that expensive. And you're going to have like the best time of your life. I was not brave enough to volunteer to go get hypnotized. Um, and I'm glad I didn't, even though I kind of wish I did. Like, it's a weird combination of, like, I wish I would have just to see how it feels. But also, the things that he made the people do, I would have been so embarrassed. Plus, that show gets taped, and um, this probably would have been all over the internet. So, I have some really exciting news. Um, as most of you know, I actually flew out to New York City in the beginning of August. And I flew there because I was one of the judges for the 17 magazines Beauty Smarties Showdown Round 2. And it's basically a group of girls competing to become the next Beauty Smarty, the next beauty guru here on YouTube. When I was first starting out, I actually, um, what really launched my career is that moment when I became a Beauty Smarty for Seventeen Magazine. And after that, um, like my life changed. So I am so grateful for that. And it's just an honor for me to be a judge for these girls. I mean, these girls are so young and they're so talented. You guys are going to be amazed. There's three judges myself, there's Leisha, also known as X Parkage, and Jessica from Miss Jessica Harlow. Yeah, so it's the three of us. We had a lot of fun. We're going to go back and film some more episodes, I believe, in September. So definitely check it out. It's on YouTube slash Hello Style, um, and it's hosted by Lene Dunn. So definitely check that out. Now, we're going to go into the haul part of my video because I'm really excited. Um, when I went to Paris, I actually wanted to do a lot of shopping and we did do shopping every single day actually, but we didn't do like crazy shopping. But um, I wanted to go to stores that they don't have in the US and I didn't really buy, like I went to Zara and I went to H&M, which is the two stores they have here in the United States. But I also went to this uh, store called Bershka and Pro Mod or Pro Mode, something like that. Um, and I picked up a few things that I wanted to show you that I got uh, from Pro Mod. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, guys. I got this blouse and it was $26.95. Pretty comfortable because it's only faux leather in the front. And I love that it's black. I can wear neon colors with this, even though neons are not like the hottest thing for fall. But pastels are, which is kind of crazy because you expect to have more jewel tones, but there's actually going to be a lot of soft hues, um, really popular for fall and winter. So anyways, these are really great to dress up with a denim skirt. Oh my gosh, I saw a lot. Okay, trend alert from Paris. I saw a lot of denim skirts, which I have when I was, when I was in high school back in 2001 to 2005. Denim skirts were really popular and I have like so many because I, I don't know, I used to wear denim skirts all the time and I stopped wearing them but I never wanted to throw them away because I love them and I just, I don't know why I never wore them but I saw so many girls with denim skirts in Paris and also I also saw like cardigans wrapped around, uh, just kind of like thrown over your shoulders and wrapped around, kind of like a preppy style and I also saw a lot of tennis shoes so that's like the three things that I noticed in Paris that all the girls were wearing and even the adults, the women, the men, they were all wearing that little cardigan and their kids so that's like, I don't know, I kind of like that, like the trendy um, preppy look. Uh, but anyway, so I got this one from Promod, I think that's the only thing that I got and then I got this blazer from um, Bershka actually wore this one of the days that I was there and a lot of you were asking me where my blazer was from so if you follow me on Instagram this is the blazer that I was wearing and some of the pictures it's a really pretty pink color it's kind of like um, the ones they sell at Zara and um, this I took the price tag off but it's a very affordable price way more affordable than Zara so I really like that store and I also got from the same store yeah Oh my gosh, this is so cute. You know what I love about it is that I didn't even notice, but this was 25 euros. And they have a picture of the girl wearing this on the tag, which is really cool because it gives you an idea of how you can wear it or how it should look. The next dress that I got from Bershka is this one. It's a black strapless um, peplum dress. 
this one is really sexy. I totally love it. I love things that are strapless. So I got that. And then the dress that I'm wearing today, just to kind of quickly give you an outfit of the day, this bracelet is from my online store, which will be available today. And then this dress is also from my online store. And it's basically, um, it has two straps here, but it converts into one strap. And it's a maxi dress. Kind of has like a corset top and it's see-through. Let me stand up. Next I'm going to move on to accessories and shoes. I didn't really get a lot of accessories because the only ones that I found that I really liked were from H&M and Zara. So one of the things that I've been wanting to try is the baseball cap trend and I'm not really a hat kind, this kind of hat girl because I don't know, I'm just not. When I saw this and it had a bunch of jewels all over, I tried it on and I loved it. So I can't wait to see how this actually works out because I've seen a lot of the models from um, ASOS wearing these and they look super hot, but I was really trying to figure out which kind of baseball hat looks good for me because I'm not going to go out and buy one that says LA or anything like that. I wanted something either plain. So yeah, so this is it. I'm really excited to try it out. And this one is from H&M and I've only seen it over there, but I'm sure they have it here. Um, next are some bracelets, and these I actually picked up from Zara, and they're just black metal with um, jewels and neon little flower here, and then this one's also neons with jewels, so this is really good arm candy so you can stack your bla uh, bracelets together and stuff. And then I found this for 27 euros, but then I came home, this is actually the cool thing about this, but um, it's a pin. You can detach it and also wear it as a necklace, which gives me an idea to do with my other pins. But you can basically attach this to a dress or a purse or like a scarf or, or something like that. But I came home and then I had the security tag all over it. And I was like, what? And it's like right in the ribbon. Like I couldn't rip this off, so I don't know how to get it off. I think I'm going to take my receipt and go to my local Zara and show them that they gave me this without taking the security thing off. Because that kind of sucks. I should have double checked, but I always feel like I trust them, you know, but they always do that to me. Like I always get home and they always leave some sort of security tag on my stuff. And then I'm walking in and out of the stores, the thing goes off. I'm like, why is it going off? And then everybody looks at me like I'm taking something. I'm like, what? So anyways, um, so I am going to do a lot of hairdos, a lot of updos because I like to wear my hair up since I wear jackets during fall and winter. Um, and I like to keep my hair out of my face so I can like show the shoulder details or like the fur or faux fur or whatever it is. I ended up picking out a bunch of hair accessories and these also work really great if you have kind of like shoulder length hair and you want it to look a little bit longer. You can do a half updo and then just um, clip something cute like this in the back and it makes your hair look way cuter. So I got this one. I also got this one which is a smaller one and then I picked out these two that you can just kind of like dig in like this and just you know when you have a little nice updo even when you have a top bun like that you can just put something here and it looks cute um, and I also got these earrings from H&M they look like that they're just like chandelier earrings they look really cute so I got these and then the last thing that I got from H&M was this necklace which looks like this and it's just neon this would actually look cute with this but I feel like I'm overdoing it and I also bought this ring from Zara. Oh no, this is H&M, sorry. Yeah, this is H&M. The last thing that I picked out from H&M were these white wedges that look like this. I think these were also like 25 euros or something like that. Um, but yeah, these are really cute. They're white and I've been wanting a decent looking pair of white shoes because I don't really like the way white shoes look. But these actually look really cute because they're pointy, they're a wedge, and they fit me really well. And you can wear them with um, jewel tones such as like dark blue or burgundy, like navy blue or burgundy. Um, and it looks really nice with the, like, it just polishes the look together with white shoes. So that's why I wanted some white shoes. And I was really excited that I found them at H&M and I don't have to spend a lot of money on a pair of shoes because those were really inexpensive. And then um, I ended up picking up these tennis shoes and these are from eSpirit. I think eSpirit, I don't know guys, I never shop at this store. Um, but yeah, I basically got these because um, the flats that I was wearing were not that comfortable after a while and I needed like a really good pair of walking shoes and those felt like heaven to my feet. I just put on socks and I put those on and I was like able to walk a lot further while I was there. So I was really excited about that. And then I also got this, actually this was covered by a bag, but this is also a necklace that I got from 
from H&M and it just goes through the back and then it's kind of like a collar necklace. It's really cute. And then I also saw this that I've been wanting to get. So I got it for my trip. Uh, not for my trip, but during my trip, I got this at the H&M. And this basically, um, it's like a sock bun, but this is way better because it's your color. They also have a darker one that I didn't see till later. Um, but this blends well into my hair, and you can get like the perfect looking bun, and it's stretchable because socks are not stretchable. So this is like the best alternative, and you can get um, bigger ones too at different places. I think H&M just has like one size, but you can get um, bigger sizes somewhere else if you want like a bigger bun or like a thicker one. So I got that. And then I ended up getting some souvenirs just for memory. I got some chocolates for my parents. I got like, I got my family a whole bunch of stuff. But the stuff that I picked out for myself, one of the things that I got like one of those touristy shops um, the last day that I was there is this, uh, this is actually a cigarette case. I'm actually going to use it to store my debit card, uh, my IDs or any like discount cards to Sephora or anything like that. And I like that it has like a really big mirror so you can see like if you want to touch up your makeup. So definitely love this and it has the little um, Eiffel Tower here. So this is really pretty. So since I do a lot of sewing, I actually got this for my finger. So when you're sewing, the needle doesn't poke you. And it has a picture of an Eiffel Tower here. So this is going to go to my inside my sewing case. And I also got some arm candy. And these are so cute because they're braided. And this one has a pink Eiffel Tower. This one is thinner. It has a purple also with the Eiffel Tower. And then this one in blue says Paris here. So these are really cute. And I got some of those for my friends as well. So yeah, really excited. I hope you guys enjoyed my haul. I know I haven't seen you guys in forever, but I have like, I feel like I'm really in the zone like to film again because I was gone for so long and I've been traveling and I haven't really had time to film. Even though the day that I did take off, I filmed my um, how to pack successfully because I packed very well this trip. Um, so I have that up and it won't go up until later. So that's probably going to be my next video. So keep a look out for that. And thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all the support, all the sweet words. And um, also don't forget to subscribe and follow my blog, dulcecandy.com. If you want to get this dress, I'm actually going to wear it today to a photo shoot. I'm wearing it all day, but I'm going to go take pictures in it. Um, and you can get this dress and this bracelet at dulcecandyxo.com and a whole bunch of other goodies. And I know a lot of people are requesting to bring more stuff back in stock, but it's fast fashion and I do have large quantities, but they sell out really, really fast. So it's like basically first come, first serve. So just keep a lookout for that. It's dulcecandyxo.com. And I will talk to you guys later, guys. And I love you and see you soon. Bye.